Trent Severance with the Pueblo Chieftain. Um, our editor, Steve Finson, is gone today, so I'm going to be telling you what we're working on along with uh, reporter Zach Hillstrom. First off, we've got a fun video up on our YouTube and on our social media channels about, I bet, the Deputy Chief from the Police Department, Chris Noller. He's a Nebraska fan. I'm a CU fan. and. We made a friendly wager about this Saturday's game where he ended up having to sing CU's fight song because CU won the game 34-31 uh, in overtime. So you can check that out on all our social media channels. Um, and as far as tomorrow, I'm working on a story about the, the Pueblo Fire Department. Um, all the employees there are going to be getting pretty good little raises over the next three years after a contract was worked out with the city. Um, they, uh, on Monday night, um, finalized that contract and they're going to get you know like a 3.75% raise. Uh, next year and then raises for the next two years. So you can read about that uh, tomorrow. Today I am working on a story about statewide recall efforts against Democrats. A couple state senators just survived the recall efforts against them. Uh, that kind of became official yesterday. So I'm going to kind of detail a little bit about that, but also talk about the ongoing recall effort for the lone Democrat who's still being targeted by these efforts, and that is uh, uh, District 3 Representative and uh, Senate President Leroy Garcia. So you'll see that in tomorrow's paper from me. We're also going to have some 9-11 coverage. Uh, John Pompey covered some of the festivities hosted down at the Pueblo Riverwalk and Anthony Mestis covered the festivities over at Public Community College. So look for these stories and more in tomorrow's print edition, or you can check them out today or uh, likely tomorrow morning at Chieftain.com.